welcome back to the channel dirty water coins and collectibles today we have a nickel hunt we have a hundred dollar box and these rolls they're like all over the place in terms of size so this looks like a shorter roll this looks shorter this is taller this one's taller i don't know they're very weird very strange um we're gonna be looking for Shield nickels, V nickels, Buffalo nickels, War nickels, Foreigns, Proofs, uh, anything from 59 and earlier, Eras, Varieties, and anything else that might be in here. So let me get this box off to the side, and we'll get started with the hunt. I'll bring you in with the first find. See you in a second. Roll 1 gives us our first 40s find. We have a 1949 out of Philly. Let's keep it going. Bring you back in with the next find. Still roll one. We have our first 50s find, 1959. It's obverse facing. That looks like Denver. And we got a Denver. All right. I'll be right back. Roll number seven, and I think we have a 1938. Or is that a 58? 1938. Do we have a mint mark? No. All right, 1938. Okay, let's keep it going. Be right back. Just flattened out roll number nine, first coin. We have a 22, and we've got a line going through the eyes. We've got some markings right in here. If we flip her over, we've got clashed eye. Yes, I said clashed eye. Really eyes. We have a little remnants over here. Big eye right there. Uh, usually some clashing right here. Do we have anything else? A little bit going on right in there. All right. First variety or era for the hunt. Let's keep her going. Right back. Roll 10. We have a 1953 out of Denver. And that looks normal. Okay. Let's keep it going. Just a couple coins behind that 53. We have a 1948 obverse facing. Do we have a mint mark? Yes, we do. 1948 out of San Francisco. That looks normal to me. I don't see anything else out of the ordinary. Be right back. Roll number 12. I have a 2016 under the scope. And we've got what appears to be doubling right in here. And this one is not listed because I found this before. But this one's in fairly decent shape. So I'll definitely be holding this one aside. Let's keep the hunt going. Be right back. Roll 13 gives us a 1958 obverse facing out of Denver. See you back here in a second. Still roll 13, and we got a foreign. Twenty twelve. Helvetica. Helvet yeah, I'm not even trying. Pretty cool. I like this design. 
It's our first foreign of the hunt. Let's keep it going. Be right back. Still roll 13. And I believe... Yeah, I have a 2022 under the scope. And if we look at the word United, we've got some heavy doubling right in here. And T down in the E, the upper part of the D, a little bit of this T, and then it kind of tapers off. So I'm going to hold this one aside. I think this is a best of, but I'm not 100% sure. Looks like a little bit in the M there, too. All right, let's keep her going. The very next coin of roll 13. We have a 2019 under the scope. And again, we've got extra thickness in the window, more so on the right-hand side. Extra thickness up in here. Extra thickness in here. we got doubling right there. So I'm definitely holding this one aside. Let's keep it going. Roll 15. This was reverse facing. We have a 1957 out of Philly. And nothing abnormal. Let's keep it going. Roll 16. Looks like we could have a couple of oldies. I have not flipped them yet. That's a 61. Not so old. So we have a Denver Mint here. A 1946 in Denver. I don't come across those too often. All right, let's put this up here. I don't think I had anything jumping out at me. There we go, 49, Philly. So three in this roll so far. Be right back. Roll 16, I have a 2019 under the scope. And again, We've got extra thickness in the window over here, a little bit in here, down in this area. We have extra thickness in the pillars, but check this out. We've got Monticello is definitely extended. M-O-N-T-I, you can see the I is slanted, C-E, and the first L. So we found this one before. This is a sweet, uh, sweet double die. This is five. The word five is is extended. You can see that. United looks a little bit thicker. And then it kind of tapers off. So I'm definitely holding this one aside. This is a nice find. Got a little die chip right there at the corner of the roof line. Little extra thickness up in here. You can kind of see how the L tapers outward. Thickness in the U. This is a good find. All right, let's keep it going. Be right back. Roll 17. We've got our first 1940. This one's actually in pretty nice shape. Out of Philly. Be right back. Roll 21. We have our first... 1951 out of Denver. Looks normal. I'll be right back. Roll number 23. We have a 1957 Denver minted. Looks normal. Normal. Be right back. Still roll 23. We have a 1955. I did see this already. Out of Denver. Be right back. Roll number 24. I thought that was a 1940. Is that a 43? I keep saying 43, but I think it's a 48. 1948. Out of Denver. It looked like there could have been another 
Is this old? This one? 64 probably, yep. And what's this one? 62. All right, let's keep her going. Roll number 25 gives us a 2022 under the scope. And we have doubling in the word united. You can see it right here in the U. And the T, the E, the top of the D there. And it progressively gets stronger as we go around. T, the T, the E, the F of of. E of America, the R of America, the O of Monticello is extended outward. And you can see the crease right here inside the building. All that extends outward. You can see there. And a little bit thicker in E pluribus. We'll hold this one aside. We'll be right back. I'm on roll number 28. I have a 2023 under the scope. And we have doubling right under the window here. And at the very top. Right up in here. So I haven't found this one before. Um, we have doubling right in here in the pillar. I've got a look this one up which I really don't want to do but I'll look it up see which one it is hopefully it's fairly easy to distinguish um, I don't know what else I don't really see much else in terms of doubling maybe a little bit in the P there all right Let's hold this aside and keep it going. Roll number 37. We have our first 47. Not a Philly. Let's keep it going. Be right back. Roll 40. And we've got an Ender. 1941. Not a Denver. Looks normal. All right, let's keep it going. Finishing up on roll 50. I have a 2021 under the scope. And we've got some severe thickness or doubling right in this window. You can see the notching, or not notching, but the, uh, I don't know what you'd call this. I guess it's bumped downward. The extra thickness here, right here. Not so much there. Extra thickness here, all of that. A little bit in the pillars in the upper part of the doorway. And that's pretty much it that I'm seeing. I guess maybe, maybe this could be a little bit thicker right here, right here, right there. Maybe right here and there. But definitely the doorway and the window. Those are very thick. So we'll definitely hold this one aside. And uh, that's it. I'm going to bring you in for the wrap-up. All right, our nickel hunt is done. No silver, no buffaloes. But we did get a few varieties. Um, up here we have our 2012s. Ten of them hunted. Still no DDR. For our foreigns, we had our 2012 Helvetica. We have a 1982 Canadian and a 1984 Canadian. We had 130s find, a 1938 Philly. We had a few 1940s, a 41, 46 Denver, a couple 47s, a couple 48s. And a couple 49s. We had a 51, a couple 53s, 54, 55 Denver, a couple 56s, a few 57s, 58s, and a 59. 
We had a nice condition 1983 that I held aside. We had our clashed eyes. And then I had a bunch of uh, double dies. So a 2016, a couple of 2019s, 21, 22, 22, 23, and 23. I think under the scope I had is a 2019 that has some fairly decent uh, doubling. So I'm going to probably use this as um, the thumbnail for the video today. I hope you all enjoyed this hunt. Please hit that like button if you've made it this far. Um, subscribe, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one.